Dallas tourney. Madden 19, Clef demolished Joke by 21. Clef wearing his hometown Tampa Bay colors. I'm really excited for this matchup. We're definitely going to see some emotion on both sides right here. We were talking about how often Joke gets close. Now, Skimbo has gotten close and actually cleared the hurdles. But 26-year-old Rydell Brito, top five player, no question, but not a belt winner yet. And that's the, the center of the corn maze right here as we discuss what's up for him. You and I were talking a little bit. We, we both like golf just enough to know Phil Mickelson, who for 12 years was described as the best player to never win a major, right? He had the five-year stretch where he had, I think it was 17 top 10 finishes, never an actual win. No green jackets, no trophies. So he's looking for his Phil Mickelson breakthrough here. I think that's as good of a comparison as you're going to find. You know, he really just hasn't got it done. It's the only thing he hasn't done. Everybody knows he's phenomenal. Everybody knows he's going to be there at the end, but he just hasn't pushed through and actually took it home. So let's see if this is his, what would that be, the 2004 Masters. Hit that 18-foot birdie on 18 and be able to go forward with some confidence. Jameis Winston, the hometown quarterback. We mentioned how much Clef loves his Tampa Bay Bucks. He's getting harassed, and down he goes right away. And I talked to Clef. I asked him, you know, what, what is he going to do? He said, I'm going to audible around. I'm not going to let Joke just man up all my guys. And early on, it looks like he's going away from that. Joke is just sitting in this two-man under. Von Miller jumped on him there to bring up a second and 16. Clef's going to have to be really patient in this game. Take what Joke gives you. Joke's never going to give up a big play. Clef number two in total offense per game. Looking to throw again. And hoisting it, looking deep. Reed. That's his man! Oh, That's Tyreek! That's right six here. right away! And Clef seen him on the play before. He said, I'm not going to miss you again. And that's exactly what happened. He hits him up top right after I said, Joke's not going to give up a big play. And that could, and for, for these guys, I promise, these guys are two defensive players. I know Clef getting seven on his first drive. He feels like this game may just be over. 49 seconds in. That's a bold statement. And Tyree Kill. And sometimes, you know, that's what it takes in this mutt draft mode. If you're able to get the lead, it's really hard to lose it. And, you know, for Clef, if he's able to stand up for himself in this drive, it would look like he was lining up a his stick right there with Adrian Amos. Get you back to this play that goes for 79 beautiful Tampa Bay Buccaneer yards. Yeah, I don't, I don't like your chances manning up a linebacker on Tyreek Hill. Uh, you don't see that too much on Sundays. He said what you said, not going to miss him twice. And Clef says Tyreek Kill has made me a lot of money in Madden already. Yeah, and I, I know firsthand that's definitely the truth. Clef is the real deal, man. I'm telling you guys, this is somebody that I really look forward to watching over the next, you know, several years. He is going to be at the top. The only question is, when is he going to win? How much is he going to win? Those are the only questions. And now to Joke, who says he's not a, a football fan per se. He says, I like Madden. <laughs> and I guess there is a difference there. Yeah, he's one of the, one of the few, you know, that, that get into Madden or, you know, that, that were into Madden before they were into football. One time a high school point guard for a good program back east. That's a transferable skill set to Madden, I think, right? Point guard's got to see what's in front of you, react in a flash. Uh, joke not the best passer, but just a real real great schemer. You know, he, he's always, look, I, he's going to, you know, we see a lot of people in this edge blitz. He's running this cover four. It was Saquon Barkley getting loose with the football there, gaining only two yards. And, you know, it looks like Clef actually stole Joke's defense. I, I mm. love this. You know what I mean? This is why I think Clef is one of the best. He has no shame at all. He's always going to make the correct adjustments. He's seen, he's seen Ghost running this yesterday, and he went in the lab and tried it himself, and that's exactly what he's doing right now. There's Barkley. A little bit better that time, but not enough for the first down. It's going to bring up a third and five. And, you know, this is an early passing situation for Joke. Unless Clef gives him just, a, just an easy look to run the ball, Joke's going to have to pass the ball. That's something he doesn't love to do on third down. Out of the Broncos' playbook, strong post, right? You can run and pass well out of it. One look of his favorite playbooks, he says. Look for the post over the middle to the tight end. Great defense. Yeah, can't get that man free. So Kyler Murray does finally throw him open. Oh my God. Hollywood Brown. And Clef, he got clicked onto the guy he wasn't expecting Come to get clicked on. onto. I think he thought he was going to get clicked onto that oh cornerback and make the hit stick. Really fortunate play there for Joke, especially with Marquise Brown just kind of floating in the air for a second there. Marquise Brown with that 95 speed designation too. 
probably going to see Joke snap another halfback dive. Midway through the first quarter. Uh -oh. There's Barkley. And he shimmies free. He's got the first down. And you know, that's the problem. When you run someone else's defense, you know, this is Joke's defense. He's going to know exactly how to attack, and that's all that was right there. Winner of this game gets the 17-year-old Noah. What a great game that was just a little while ago. A 20-14, to 14, a hard-fought final. Beth looks really uncomfortable right now. Cook tripped up. That's a good tackle right there by Leighton Vanderesh, who was huge for Clef in the quarterfinal round. I think Clef's going to go to this edge blitz early on. He does. He doesn't like the look of this this cover four, and I don't blame him. He looks really uncomfortable in that defense. Dalvin Cook in the backfield now, trying to make sure he keeps Barkley without fatigue. Going to need him here late, you figure. I love what Clef's doing. You just got to make a play. Oh, the defensive adjustments early. But there's Cook bursting through. He'll twist and make it first and goal. Yeah, but at the eight-yard line, it's really easy to stand up for yourself. You just need a couple good plays, make your opponent kick a field goal. If you can get Joke in a passing situation down here, this is where he likes to make some mistakes. Joke usually about the run and not the pass. That's very much by design. Of course, he's got a quarterback here that can run it a bit too in Kyler Murray. But there's Barkley trying to turn the corner. Oh, and he loses yards here. And you know, we just raved about Noah's stick work. That's great stick work right, right there by Clef. Not laying the his stick, but clicking on, making the tackle, making sure his Adrian Amos doesn't get spin moved right there. Once again for Joke, it's all about how close he comes and how that summit gets in sight. He just can't get to the top of it. And he's now in a situation where he's behind early. Barkley squirming to the five. And third and goal at the six, it's really easy to make a mistake down here. I'm, I'm interested to see what, what, go, what, what Joke is going to go to, excuse me. We won't find out until the end of the first quarter though. As in the NFL, it's not necessarily oceanfront real estate when you're parked at the five, right? I mean, the field condenses on you. There are fewer things you can do. Yeah, you know, it, it, it gets really tough down here. I think Joke is probably just going to end up running the ball, take his field goal. He feels like he's going to play great defense. Just kind of had a few lapses, you know, as far as adjustments go. But if you're Clef, this is still a scary down. You need to be able to stop this halfback stretch. Clef's defense has been ants on a popsicle stick here so far, just swarming right at him. Starting the second quarter, Joke down seven. It's Barkley pushing only to the four. Frank Clark with the big hit right there on Barkley. And Joke's going to kick his field goal right here. If you're cleft, that's a huge stand right there. Both these teams using Greg the leg, Greg Zerline as the kicker. And there it is. It's seven to three. But you'll take that if you're cleft, right? Yeah, I think both players are fine with that. Joke, he knows himself. He's a defensive player. He thinks he can stop Clef. He thinks Clef is, is turnover prone. So I, I, I love what Joke did right there, just not forcing anything on third down. It's going to be really tough to complete a pass down there and just kicking his field goal. Now, Clef just got done gashing and crushes run defense. He won 31 21 earlier today. Josh Lewin with Mo, who won this event four years ago, almost to the date four years ago, in a thriller against Skimbo. Devontae Freeman is the running back and a guy that loves to run. Clef, we talked about it in the quarterfinal, Mo. Kind of weird that he had only Devontae Freeman picked in the draft. But boy, Freeman was money for him earlier today. Two long touchdowns. And I love Clef audibling. I love him making Joke uncomfortable on defense. There's Freeman. And a healthy gain here, seven. Yep, I, 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 I love what Clef is doing early on in this game. Joke hasn't seen a lot of people audible around on him, and I figured he may try this. You know, just get Joke out of that man-to-man -man defense, make him audible around, and then maybe even audible back. You know, try to try to catch him off guard. A lot of inside zone this entire tourney for Clef. They've been running that very well. Wouldn't be surprised to see him go right back to that inside zone again. Hasn't asked Jameis Winston to do a whole lot. Of course, in real life this year, Winston was a, a turnover machine in Tampa Bay. And he has to burn a timeout right there because his, his player was still motioning. It wasn't going to let him snap the ball. 
Great awareness there by Clef to not take the delay a game, though. So as Clef continues on that tack, I mean, the defensive adjustments are great. For the uh, the uh, offensive adjustments he's making here. Joke, going to ask you here in just a second, Mo, if there's anything hyper-aggressive that he can do just to, to kind of try to go get a turnover at some point. He's going to have to stop the run right here. You know, he's got to get Clef to a third down. There is the third down. You know, Clef, he, he wants to air the ball out. He doesn't want to be a runner. You know, so on third and two, where, where you probably see would see Joke run or you would see Noah run, this is most more than likely going to be a passing situation for Clef. Clef's again got Tyree Kill, likes to use Andre Reed. He's got Devontae Parker in motion, as you see, heading up to your left. And on a third and two, Sometimes this is where you get greedy, turn it over. I think this is going to be good defense. Winston will rush for it and then slide for it right near midfield, move those chains. And he had the coverage, just couldn't contain the quarterback. Great coverage there by Joke. You know, he sent five. He expected to get to the quarterback, but they broke contain. Jameis Winston able to scramble for a few yards, pick up the first down. So, Mo, other than Tyree Kill getting free, it, it seems like Joke's actually doing okay, holding Clef reasonably close to the vest here. It's going to be tough sledding, you know, trying to pass the ball versus Joke. I think you got to find different ways to mix in different run plays. I really liked when Clef was going to tight, that shotgun tight formation. It looked like Joke wasn't completely comfortable versus that. If I was Clef, I'd look to go back to it. With the rush coming, this ball tipped, but Hill with a bobble has got it, and he's gone. And I can't believe Joke gave that up again. That I know for a fact Tyreek Hill is Clef's number one player. He wants him in every single draft, and Clef taking complete advantage of Joke right now. Tyreek Hill, the three-time Pro Bowler, drafted out of little western Alabama after he had washed out Oklahoma State. That's the number one moneymaker for Clef. Some very uncharacteristic things going on by Joke right now. Plenty of time to recover, though, as Cook is on the return of the 35. Here's your Snickers replay. And you know, Cle Joke's seen Clef play versus Crush, and this is a play that Clef looked to often. I'm very surprised for Joke to just give that up and look at the celebration by Clef. All right, you've talked about some uncharacteristic play from Joke so far. Yeah, just, just, just some odd adjustments that, you know, he knows that the streak is going to be there if he leaves it. You know, if he puts that third on the opposite side, his third just isn't going to be able to get there in time. And, you know, Joke knows that. So it, it's just very odd to me that, that he's leaving that open. And just a little pop psychology. I mean, again, getting this close. Is he pressing? Is he trying to do something a little different to change his luck? You know, I, I think I think Joke might might be re relying on Clef to run the play called Dagger a little too much out of that gun tray wide flex, and Clef just isn't going to Dagger. You know, he, he's just putting Tyreek Hill on a streak and looking for him, and he's wide open. All right, a chance to recollect himself now. That one batted down at the line of scrimmage. He had Shannon Sharp, but he couldn't get it to him. Yeah, and you know that that's the problem when you have that Kyler Murray. He's a little bit smaller. And if you're Joke, you do not want to be at third and eight. This is a passing situation. Joke wants to be able to run the ball. And this is this could get really dangerous here if Clef's able to hold him, you know, make it this a fourth and short. Yeah, remember Clef's got Jair Alexander, Deion Sanders back there, Adrian Amos at safety. Great defense. Murray flips it. There's Alexander! Jair Alexander to the 10 to the 5! Touchdown, Clef! And Clef is right. Those were great adjustments. He actually manned up the cornerback and then touched him so he wouldn't follow him. So it was more like a cross man on that on that motion slant. Just great defense there by Clef. He knew all he had to guard was the tight end, and there was absolutely nothing open. And Joke's in a huge hole, especially for the way he plays offense. You dialed this up, partner. One of the top players Clef was hoping to land in the draft was Jair Alexander, and he just paid off. Yeah, pick six at a stage like this. You know, all Clef needs to do is not give up a touchdown before half, and he's in great position. I'll take you back to what it looked like. There was pressure coming, too. There was just nothing going to be open right there. He's either going to throw a sack or a pick. He was either going to get sacked or throw a pick, and he chose the latter. Very odd situation for Joke right now. He has to find a way to get seven. Joke, whose former full-time job was in loss prevention. Well, I got beat for that. Ironically, that a lot. He, he gives it away right there lot. to fall behind by 18. And Clef saying, I got the lock, you know, I got the defense for that. You're going to have to do something else, and I think he might be right. And again, just a subtle reminder, Joke, when he's really in his comfort zone, is running the ball. That's why he's got Barkley. 
Deep. And as the pocket collapses, oh. it's another oh. sack for Clef. And I love Clef not using that timeout right here. He's already up three possessions. No reason to try to force and get the ball back. Let the clock run. If Joke wants to make a mistake, let him. Just be, be comfortable with the three possession lead at halftime. You don't need this ball back. And if you're Joke, how do you avoid that thought bubble over your head, Mo, that says something like, not again? You know, and it's, it's hard to get out your head, especially at this point being down three possessions. I'm sure that's all he's thinking about. Clef seems very poised right now, very chill. Let's go, Dangerous man. pass. He's manned up too. Let's get Kyler Murray has started one of four here for Joke. And you know, the, the crazy thing is, Joke really does play great defense. He's just given up some huge plays, like I said earlier, very uncharacteristic out of Joke. Boy, and that Jair Alexander pick six, I mean, that's, that's tough to come back from too. Yeah, w w once, you, once you put yourself in this big of a hole, it's going to be really tough for Joke going forward. You know, you got to hope that Clef tries to force something right here, but I really doubt he's going to, uh, being up three possessions. He knows that these three points or even seven, you know, they don't make much of a difference. But if you, if you turn the ball over here, if you're Clef, it can make all the difference in the game. Time to make a play defensively if you're a joke. No kidding here. He's put himself in the best possible position. He's played a, a few very clean, very crisp games this week. Superstitious guy was able to talk the commissioner into getting the, the Patriots logo and the Patriots uniforms because he, he ran that so well in this building a couple of months ago. Didn't want to mess with that. But has his luck this week run out? Clef trying to just take that mojo right away from him. I'd be very surprised if Clef doesn't just run the ball here. No point in trying to force anything. There's Devontae Freeman. He gets bashed. He gets lowered. This is where you may take a chance if you're Clef. Now he's looking here with Jameis Winston. Flips it out. And getting closer to field goal range anyway, which is clutch because that could take you to an actual three touchdown lead if you get to 24 to three. And he is in field goal range. You know, I'm. You know, Joke just. Joke just looks a little unprepared, honestly. He's, he's doing some things that I didn't expect to see from him. You know, we seen earlier he was running a lot of cross man, but Clef, once Clef was audibling around, I think it just completely threw Joke off, and now he really has no idea what to do. From the 36, and you bet, already at the fringe of field goal range, if you don't take a sack, you could very well make it 24-3 at the break. Yeah, Joke's gonna have to find a way to hit the running back in the backfield here, because he already is in field goal range. Looks like Clef might take a shot here. I love this call. Needs to borrow that from Clef, who had seven sacks in the quarterfinal from five different players. Winston with time. Winston, boogie mode here, is going to slide to the 31, 32 yard line. And Clef's not going to mess with it anymore. He's just going to wind this clock down, call a timeout, and kick his three. Trying to bring some sand to the beach here. I mean, things are already going quite well. Timeout taken with the two seconds to go. And it's not like you get a real halftime here, right? I mean, you get to breathe for a minute, but not much more than that. It's right back at it. You know, and I think everybody would have picked Joke to win this game just based off matchups, but Clef, you know, this is what I'm saying. He's a fighter. He knows exactly what he's doing. Maybe it is Clef's time at halftime, 24 to three. Let's go to James at the desk. Thank you, Josh. Be sure to look in the Ultimate Team menu for the competitive tab and check out the new Madden Challenge themed game day program. Get Madden Pro players as coaches including Kurt Delbin, Boogs, Beast Mode Matt, Crush, and our very own Serious Mo. You can also get MCS uniforms and some exclusive Mutt content right now. All right, before we get back to the game, Clef the God is getting closer to a real shot at his first Madden Major belt. Let's listen to Clef the God in Audible. Ree! And the bottle has got it, and he's gone. Ah, come on, man. D! Come on, man. Adjust D! Get adjust D! Come on. Oh, I got D for that. I done seen that a lot. I done seen that a lot. I got D for it. Some interesting sounds coming out of that man's mouth right there. Yeah, you know, that's just... Tyreek, you know, Clef, like Clef, that is the that is the one guy you can't leave because Clef is going to be staring him down every single play. 
And you know, Jokes just left him a few times. And if you're Joke, you gotta find a way to get seven early in this in this second half, or else it's gonna be curtains. Noah gave us he he. He gave us so much defense. I mean, there have been some clip and save quotes here today. So the long, shrill voice cracking. I'm going through puberty as I say it. Tyreek <laughs> is now joining the list, thanks to Clef. Repping the 386. That's his uh, his home area code, Volusia County, back in Florida. And we've talked about Clef having played some football himself. He worked as running backs coach and head JV coach at New Smyrna Beach High School back home. But now he's focusing on Madden. Full time, full stop. All right, time for Joke to dig deep here. Remember, Noah's got next. As once again, you know, it's the last four going on five majors, Mo. There's been a teenager in the final game every time. So Noah keeps that streak alive. That's amazing to me. Yeah, you know, they had a youth movement a couple years ago, and it just keeps on growing and growing and getting stronger by the day. Noah's mom has become kind of a, a sidecar star this week as that one's ladled out. Oh, and a broken tackle sharp with the first down. She went up to, to joke and said, I don't know if this is weird or not. She said, I dreamed last night that it was my son and you in the final last night. He, and she didn't even know. She said, is that possible? I mean, oh, it is wow. 64 to 1 odds, really. I mean, that, that could happen. But that could happen if there's a comeback here. That's insane right there. Right? You know, and, and that's all it takes is, is, is a comeback. All it takes is joke winning this game because Noah's already sitting there waiting. Not to be a dork about this, but I'm looking at those Patriots uniforms. Wasn't there a Super Bowl not too long ago against an NFC South team where it was 28 to three? Yeah, you're, you're right. Those Atlanta Falcons. We make fun of Joe Rice. All well, Wesley. Wesley now. He's he, he's upgraded his name to to Wesley. Yeah, <laughs> get that right. But uh, <laughs> he's a huge, you know, uh, Georgia Bulldogs, Atlanta Falcons, and they've both blown some big leads in the last couple of years. I didn't mean to cheese off all of Atlanta bringing that up. Sorry, but I'm just saying this game's not over. Murray, Jones with the crossing route, and he'll nudge his way to the first down sticks. And if Joke's able to score before this two-minute mark in the third, he's got a real shot. You know, he's just going to have to force a couple of three and outs. Great patience. Probing and finding the sideline route to the great Jerry Rice. And Joke's players are dead tired, but he has no choice but to hurry up to the line. He's got to get these plays off. Well, it's a long journey back into this one, but these are some positive steps down that road on this drive. Barkley. Boy, that hole closed up pretty quickly, didn't it? Devin White is a great pickup for a lot of these players in this tournament. Made that play. And, you know, if you told Joke before the game you're going to have 11 rushes for 33 yards, he would be like, I probably lost that game. And, you know, that's been the story so far. He just hasn't been able to get that run game going at all. That's a great point. I mean, normally this is a guy running for, what, 120 a game, 130? 33 right now, passing, fingertip catch, Hollywood Brown, first down and goal. And Joke's actually making some great reads right now. He's got to find a way to get this into the end zone. That's usually how he butters his bread anyway. I mean, he's, he's a run first guy. He's got Barkley. Oh, oh. and that misconnect, a little bit of a, a disconnect might Dang, cost him. And it looked like Clef ran man. commit, and touchdown. that would have been a wide open touchdown walk in. And you know, this That's guy just down. doesn't animate on the ball ends up being a fumble and now the clock is still ticking so you go from having a touchdown to having a fight and the balls and the and the clock is going to keep continue to tick and now you might not even get in the end zone third and goal at the seven is going to be really difficult Jair Alexander keeps making plays and Clef is getting closer now we're getting late in the third quarter winter is coming for joke he's got to get in right here Shannon Sharp, you keep your eyes on, tight right. Going and it's Barkley. Ball. And again, he just gets smoked. And he's got to go for it. This is this is the play of the game. If he doesn't get this, this game's absolutely over. Yeah, Clef can just run, run, run. All right, so this is it, really. I mean, we're not even in the fourth quarter yet, but we're dialing it up that this is the play of the game. En route, Marquise Brown. <laughs> Didn't get rid of it. And you know, Clef was going to be all over that in route anyways. Bosa with the instant shed. Clef played phenomenal defense all game, and Joke just has no answer for it at all. Well, Clef's, Nick, Clef's just going to use this clock and try to get out of here as fast as possible. Now he is in the, the shadow of his end zone here, so if there is a little bit of defensive stick work to be had from Joke, this is, the, the ge I guess, the geography that you want, right? I mean, you're down this close. 
the take the ball away here. The problem is Clef's a smart enough player where he knows if he just runs the ball three times on these, even if Joke scores these next two possessions, if he just runs the ball three times, even if he goes three and out, Joke's going to have too much of an uphill battle. It's, it's going to be over no matter what. Ryan Kerrigan smothers the ball carrier, but yeah, you're going to have to start using timeouts. I mean, you, you, you need to just drop to your knees and pray here. Yeah, you need a fumble. So, you know, you got to use your timeouts. You need an onside kick at some point. It's just a, a really, really steep uphill battle for Joke, and it, you just feel for him because he's been so close. You know, this is three tournaments in a row where he's got a top six, top four, top four. You know, those are, those are incredible, you know, numbers. Yeah, three consecutive top five finishes at majors. I mean, that's dazzling. You know, he, he's really had the best Madden year out of anybody, you know, and he just hasn't been able to get that belt. To be, to be in the conversation to win a belt with only a couple games to play with, in that many tournaments in a row is very difficult. There's Devontae Freeman and well, a couple more first downs in this game is history. You know, we could talk all day about how Joke couldn't get it going on offense, but the story of the game is those two big plays to Tyree Kill. Those really did Joke in. He never wants to play from behind. He wants to be able to control the clock. And, you know, even if he's not going to get huge gains, he wants to be able to pick up a few yards and keep the possession going, and he hasn't been able to do that. Clef is five minutes away now. We're hitting the fourth quarter, presented by Snickers. I dig because suddenly people think it's okay to talk on speakerphone in public. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just some lady digging a giant hole. Digging a huge hole. On standby is 17-year-old Noah who is waiting, I guess now, for Clef. I mean, this is looking very much like a Clef versus Noah final. We know it's going to be a first-time belt winner now. But Mr. Hitstick, guy is uh, developing quite a reputation this week. He's waiting for Clef if Joke can't pull off the miracle. Yeah, and you know, I, it's going to be a tough game. You know, I, I don't know who to give the edge to because Clef has came out here and adjusted to this run game. And he's been able to slow Joke down. But Noah's defense is just so good. If he can get Clef into some tough situations, you never know. You know what I mean? Clef is def and that's the problem. You know, Noah's been the underdog in all of these matches, and he's really dominated in almost every single game he's played. So, you know, it's hard to con keep con continue to consider him an underdog when he's playing such good football. I, I wasn't here last year, but what were you guys saying about Kratobin around this time? A similar thing? Yeah, Kurtobin, you know, he had one of the little bit of an easier bracket, and he Kurtobin kind of ran through it, and then, you know, next thing you know, he's in the Final Four, and then next thing you know, he's in the finals playing Drini. Well, Devontae Freeman keeps getting loose, and this keeps getting to be a, a taller hill to climb for Joke. Yeah, th this one's all but over. Joke has no timeouts left. Clef's going to be able to take this down to at least the two-minute warning before Joke even gets the ball back. And in this game, it's so hard to score quickly, especially with no abilities. And again, Joke says, you know, I've done everything but win a belt. I've won underground tournaments, but it's just not the same. I, I want the belt. And, you know, the, you know, it's not going to come today. You know, it's, 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 it's unfortunate, but it's just not going to come today. So turning to Clef, and again, we've said, you know, kind of always a bridesmaid, never a bride, too, in, in these tournaments. He's been in, in final eights. He lost to Goes in the quarterfinals of the club championship. But now, I mean, he, he can really smell this now. Yeah, Clef kind of has that factor where if, if he makes it to this live event or he makes it to the live tournament, he's got to be one of the favorites just because he does have that clutch factor. He's going to be comfortable on that stage. And, you know, he's showing it right now. Like, he is one of the favorites to win this tournament. And as Freeman drags himself to midfield, I think the other thing we got to point out is these two games today, Clef has scored 31 and 24. So, there, I mean, there's a train coming hot down the track for Noah. Yeah, extremely impressive. But Noah, Noah's going to slow Clef down. You know, he's going to run a lot of coverage defenses. He, you're not going to see him blitzing. You know, he's going to be dropping back into coverage, having those deep zones out there, making Clef throw underneath. And the, well, the question will be, is Clef okay with taking those underneath routes? I think the Jenga block spilled all over the table <laughs> when that, that Jair Alexander pick nestled into his hands, right? I mean, it just kind of felt like the, the balloon popped at that point for Joke. 